Um, oh, so it's, oh, hello. So it's surgery day tomorrow. Um, I'm home alone. It is three o'clock, Monday the 8th. Um, so I have been shopping all morning. I have been out with friends. Actually, I'll catch you up with where have I been. Let's start from the beginning. Nothing's happened. No, that's not true. Um, we went boating. So I decided to cancel work on Saturday, Sunday, and I went boating with my husband and moored up with my sister and her husband and um, a friend of theirs. And um, I didn't go swimming, I jumped in the water once for a TikTok video. Um, that's it, I think this camera's crooked. Hang on. <coughs> um, yes, actually I will talk as I pack. We I went boating, so yes, I did one TikTok where I fell into the water and I slapped my back actually, but um, yes, went fishing, didn't really catch anything, but that's all right. It was actually a really, really nice um, weekend to get out, get out of the house, spend time with my husband, spend time with my sister. It was really, really lovely. Uh, then Sunday we came home and I went to a work gathering. I had a panic attack an anxiety attack uh, in between that um, just about because anxiety sucks because <laughs> um, for me in my head I had set that date with the girls at work and I had set that date specific because it was the Sunday before my surgery and it was in my head a farewell to my boobies this is the last time my boobies get to go out my boobs which aren't my boobs, they're fake, but they're my boobs. Um, and I don't know why, but that caused me to have um, quite a few breakdowns and like an absolute sobbing breakdown to my husband. Um, which is the first time I've really broken down, like broken down crying, so um, I guess it's becoming real. I don't know if this is the grieving process starting. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I went shopping today and oh, firstly, Oh, and then no, this morning I went and visited um, one of my closest friends, Jeannie, um, and spent a couple of hours with her at her house. And then I went shopping and with Ange from work and spent a couple of hours with Ange. Um, I have had so many people come around me. It's been unbelievable. I did have an anxiety attack about that. <clears throat> I'm a very solitary person. I don't leave my house much. I am very solitary. And even though I always know I have these people around, I don't go and see people very often and to have so many people come around me is a little bit overwhelming. Um, tonight I have my whole family coming over. Um, they're not coming here because my house is a mess. <coughs> but uh, we are gonna go out to an all you can eat buffet because this is my last feed before surgery. Um, but that'll be nice. That's most of my family. Everyone that can come basically is going to be there tonight. And then I didn't explain in my last video. On the day of surgery, um, my three boys, uh, well, hopefully they don't have to stay home from school, but we're giving them the option to stay home from school. My older daughter is coming um, to spend the day with them, as well as my sister, and they are going to go to the movies. Um, I believe my mum and my dad are going to go to the movies with them because um, mum doesn't think that she'll concentrate while she's at work and whatever, so, um, yeah, it's just nice knowing that pretty much my whole close family is going to be together while I'm in surgery, so I know that all their thoughts and their wishes and everything is all in one spot, creating energy for me. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm very, very thankful and very, very lucky for the family that I have and the support that I have. But I want to go through everything that I bought at shopping. <clears throat> so this is my overnight bag oh, someone's ringing me it's ringing in my ear I don't know if you can hear that um, I didn't have an overnight bag and I needed one so I chose this flamingo one from Big W is it not cute and then it's not my fault I have a very very poor diet at the best of times and at the moment it's poor and I just eat what I can and unfortunately a lot of what I'm eating at the moment is lollies and so I got a bit excited and bought a lot of lollies but these might last me a week 
And I might share some. Watch these. These are my dad's favourite. Licorice also. I had a thing for jelly beans at the moment, so I had to buy two packets of those. Plus a packet of snakes. Though the snakes have been a bit too much lately. And then the last time I bought this raspberry licorice block of Daryl Lee chocolate, it was delicious. So I had to buy two of those. And then this is my absolute favourite chocolate. So I bought two of those. The kids will get one of those though. And then I bought a Boost one just because they're new and I haven't tried that. And the kids will probably get some of that one too. Oh, there's my other bag of jelly beans. I bought these for the shower. But then I found these ones <laughs> that my sister bought me last year for Christmas. So I'm actually going to take them ones instead because they're the ones I've been looking for. And I just got another pair of man thongs and you can never have too many thongs, I reckon. Um, I bought myself a new pair of slippers. Because I only have Uggs. And these are memory foam and they were the most comfortable to walk around in that didn't slip off my feet and had good grip. What else did I buy? Oh, I bought a curved pillow. A triangle pillow. I bought... <laughs> I bought a lot of things. I wonder if it cost me so much. I bought hydrating day cream because I needed face cream. And then I bought body lotion because just why not? I deserve it. And then I got some shampoo and conditioner because I need little travel ones and I need good ones. And then I needed stuff for my hair. And more stuff for my hair. And then I bought a... One of these things, well, it's, it's so comfy, it's really soft. Surely I'm going to need that in hospital. And that was all I bought. More than I needed, but it was fun. <laughs> that's all that matters. So yes, that's the plan. Um, tomorrow, so my sister and my daughter are staying here tonight. And... Um, I'm just looking for scissors. Tomorrow, I know there's scissors in here. I want to pack all this Panadol and I'm not allowed. Hmm. I can't find scissors. Um, tomorrow's plan is I have an 8 o'clock or 8.30 um, at the local... MRI, I have to place exact, I have to get a blue dye put in, I'm, I'm assuming it's this side, um, so apparently this blue dye uh, lights up all my lymph nodes and will light up any of any concern, um, apparently this blue dye can mark my skin permanently uh, or it can fade over a couple of months or whatever, um, also I'm going to pee blue for a day or two, I'm excited about that and I am going to film that. And I think that my catheter bag, if I get a catheter, I think that that's going to come out green mixed with my yellow and their blue. <gasps> Can't wait to see that. Um, so yeah, 8 o'clock is that. And then I have to be in there for 10.30. So I actually don't know what time my surgery is at all. I don't know anything other than... Oh, did you see that? I have to be there for 10.30. So I'm assuming I'm first up in the afternoon, I'm hoping, hoping, um, because I am hoping that I can have the surgery, get out of recovery and the kids and get to see them in the afternoon because if they do it too late, by the time I get out of recovery and get back up, I, I don't, you know, like visiting hours and whatever. So I'm very, very, very much hoping that I'm first up in the afternoon so the kids can and I can see them and I can see my daughter because once she goes home, I don't think I need them. Once she goes home, I don't know when I'm gonna get to see her again. So I would really like to see my family who might have of surgery tomorrow night. Um, yes, I'd like to see as many of them as possible actually. Mum, dad, the kids. Um, Shane will be with me the whole time, my husband. Um, he doesn't really intend to leave the hospital. He will pretty much just stay there. 
Um, I told him he should tie him to the movies with the kids um, and my family, but that's up to him ultimately. Um, but he, they, there is a place that he can stay there if he needs to. Where is my toothpaste on there? And that's about it, so hopefully, I'm sure I'll do a little video in the morning, whether you get, you probably won't get that until after surgery though, but I'll do, I'll try, trying to do so much, but I'll try and get a video tomorrow morning, and I have plans in my head of what I want to do, <laughs> as I always do. Do you think I need perking? Sure, I will. No, this is going to be more need like impulse or something. Mm. I'll throw that in the bin later. So, yeah, I'm going to sit here recording now. Alright, so I will update as soon as I can. I've got plenty of time in hospital. It really just comes down to how I feel because I guess it's my arms, but I don't know. And I did buy myself a little table so if I need to lean on it. Yep, so that's my update. I feel good at this moment. I have had many, many breakdowns. Um, when it comes to a counsellor, I do really don't have um, a desire to talk to one. Um, I've had trauma, I guess, over my life and I don't feel like, like I've been to so many counsellors over my life. And I prefer just to, as I said, I'm a solitary person. I like to just deal with it in my head. You know, it can get really, really bloody messy in there, but eventually I do deal with it all. Mm. And um, at the moment, I, I'm okay with that. Uh, there is a uh, under 50s breast cancer support group on Facebook that meet up once a month. I would probably like to meet up with them. That's probably where I would like to go and um, get support from peers or, you know, like people. Um, even though I am very emotional a lot of the time, I'm, I think it's normal. I think I'm going through the feelings and emotions and everything. I think I'm doing all right, actually. I really do. I'm quite comfortable with everything. You know, I've got, I know I've got my stages of grief to go through and however it works before I get to acceptance. Like, I do believe I have accepted it, but holy shit, I don't know how I'll feel when I wake up, I don't know, I don't know what's going to come, I just prepare myself as much as possible, I hope, how, how do you prepare yourself, I can see myself, um, <clears throat> like that, uh, to the point that I don't even think I'm going to wear prosthetics, to be honest, like, to me, to me, prosthetics are for other people, like, I'm not going to be uncomfortable and have this heavy, for other people, like I don't really, you know, I may change my mind in two days, but <laughs> um, for now I really, I can't see myself wearing prosthetics, I would rather just be who I am and go through the process as it is and, yeah, alright, thank you for following, sorry this is so long and I've just rambled, um, as I said, if you watched from the beginning, I'm not an editor, I will just put up what I did, basically, you just get what it is, and yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, okay, thank you, thank you for all your um, support too that you've been giving. Okay.